guys, welcome back to Mayhem and Family Fun. Today we're going to do our Sisters Read Aloud Day 8. <clears throat> so last chapter, they arrived at, um, they arrived at their cousin's house. And we have a childhood where he gets another job. <clears throat> if you haven't seen D7, what are you doing? Go see it, because it's very good. So let's start reading. So, in the system we found a different read aloud. I have a red pen. <coughs> so, another thing we found is childhood. She likes alone time, the sister. And then, we didn't find main character. We didn't, we didn't um, find anything for the sister. All we did, we all we did was the main character. So let's start reading. The sisters read aloud. So last chapter we head off to We let all of them listen to music. Hee <laughs> hee giggle. What? <coughs> She's sleeping with her teddy bear. No no. <laughs> Penelope still sleeps with teddy bear. <laughs> What are you guys doing here? Are laughing at her? I mean, I still do. I mean, I, I'm 10 years old and I sleep with my bunny. Uh, this is my den. We're eating breakfast. What, are you 13? I'm 14. <laughs> right, I guess I'm eating breakfast. There's her telling her age, and then they're laughing again. Mm. I don't care about my this stupid little bear. My sister probably packed them. Mm -hmm. There's him eating his thing. I don't even know what that is. It's probably like a croissant or something. I'll prove it. Fling. Push. I'm so sorry. There. there was her teddy bear. Hits the ground and she's saying her stories. So put it on your side of the house. Her brushing her teeth. Lindsay, she has a lot of beauty products. Her she grabs it. I guess she just got out of the shop. Look at her face. Ew, what did you do to her face? Okay, we found another. We found another thing for the main character. She likes beauty because she, she wouldn't just put on that makeup. I mean, I'm beautiful just the way I am. So, I'm guessing she likes beauty. So, we're going to write that down. Wrote that down, like beauty, right there in the red. So let's continue. I guess they're getting like a little buffet. She gets a little chicken, look like chicken, and she comes to sit with her. Okay, if I sit with you guys. And then she just sits on the ground. So, Lindsay, are you still in the skating? Huh? Well, 
was getting remember the last time we saw each other at the arena? Exactly. So she's eating like a I don't know what that is. It looks like a burger. I'm so toasty. We spent the whole week getting around your old hidden. There's her talking. Her lipstick is very, very it's not really good. <laughs> it was really fun. I remember pretending we were sisters. <gasps> We found another thing. She liked. So, found another thing. She likes skating. I'm writing skating down. There. I love skating. It was really fun. I remember when we were pretending to be sisters. And I went home and began my, to buy me my own skate so I could be more like you. There's her. There's their meals. I'm filming in my mom's. That's my mom's bathroom, ceiling fan. Right now I'm on my bed. Cause over there is really dark where um I would record. So, huh? I don't know if I ever touched a pair of skates since I was seven. She's confused. Yes. There's them and them talking. Jeremy, I guess. Oh, there's, and then you can hear like little lines of arguing, I guess. <laughs> Mary, high five. <laughs> there's the high fiving and laughing. Sorry, Penelope, we're halfway through this game. We'll deal with you in next time, okay? I guess she's trying to play cards, but they're already inside the game, so she can't. Boring adult stuff, money, one pair, when grandpa was alive, last will test the Apollo's religion and raising your children wrong. There's all the parents talking, and then down here they're arguing. She's alarmed. She alarmed! There's them. She's trying to take a drink, and they're all running. The first kid is with a stick. So then the children run to the parents and they're all arguing. She sighs and walks out the door and sees her sister. Sits right next to her. You never feel like you just don't fit in all the time. We're talking. The difference between you and me, I don't care. Hey, listen. I...
I, I did bring colored pencils on this trip. I had them in my suitcase. She, I, I don't think no, no, that's blush, or I don't know if it's those cheek things you put on. You want me to go get these? I'm t I'm t I'll totally go get them for you. She volunteered to go get them for her. Like I said, I really, I don't really care. Fine, see if I ever, ever tried to do anything nice for you again. You're not being nice, you're just feeling sorry for yourself. She was trying to be yelling at her because she was just trying to be nice for once. That's not fair. But it's true. If Lizzie wanted to hang out, you'd be gone in a snap. She, she stood up. She's on me. Man. I'm going away. So go. Slam. So they're arguing. She slams the door. For sleeping. And I wish to. My sister barely knows me at all. Oh, she wiped away all her makeup. Yeah, she did. And the sister I actually have hates me. So I guess it's nothing personal. She hates everyone. She's still awake and her sister is like mad while sleeping. Like, like kind of having a bad thing. Here she sees her teddy. See, teddy grabs it and sleeps with it. We're in another childhood. You know, childhoods are good. There. Now I'm close to you guys. There you go. Kids, your mom and I have an extra good decision. There's another dinner. <coughs> we all been cramped in the crowded house will. Dad talking. And you guys would all like an extra bit of privacy, so we're moving! When she had braces. She probably still does. I don't know. We decided to give Brenda her own bedroom. Oh. I don't know what that stuff she's eating. It looks like red ketchup or something. Like they're eating ketchup. She's excited. I still have, I have to share a room with Will. Linda, Linda's growing up, honey. She needs some space. They're taking their toes. The mom's explaining. Wait, we might have two bedrooms. Where's you and dad gonna sleep? So she's confused. We'll be moving into the living room. Daughter's very surprised. She's very surprised. Well, you do that for me. You do that for her. We knew you feel a little bit put out of this all, Amanda. She's angry. So we're gonna be buying this that snake you've been wanting. What? 
she is mad, she's happy. Okay, I'm guessing this is going to be a very big chapter. You can't buy her a snake, I hate snakes! You have your own room, it won't bother you. She's trying to convince mom. Yes, it will. Should I get a king snake or a corn snake? Ooh, maybe a bar constructor. Those are all like scary snakes. She has a swallow thing. She's losing her mind. What if it gets out of its? What do they live in anyway? Cages, termites. She's reading a book. What snakes you should get. It won't. Get out of its termite. She's nervous, that's why she's shuddering. This is a little ways off. First order of business is to move all the rooms around. I don't want to see any edible mice either. <laughs> There's her telling her. So no mouse or mice, whatever. So see them like moving around the house. Poor Brenda sleeps. She has a big, pretty big bedroom. Ah, oh, this is so great. There she's laying her, her locks, her bed, her pets, and her shoes. Termine. Feeding time. Too bad the walls aren't any thicker. So eventually, oh, he's actually pretty cute look at him slither Brenda you sure you don't want me to call me mango yes she walks out of the room snakes are disgusting Did you even know he sheds his skin? She's telling facts. Come on, Mango, eat a frozen mouse. Mmm. By three weeks later. By after, but after three weeks. Hey, Mom, he still won't eat. Wow, he really has weird luck with pets, huh? Yeah, this mouse is starting to unfreeze, which... <laughs> he tried to bite me! Oh, Chiggy's mango tried to bite me! Put that lid on! Oh, she got her hand up. She just had to open the window. It's fine. Hi, uh, yes, we bought a king snake at your pet store three weeks ago. Uh huh. Uh huh. Calling. King snake only eat live mice. No wonder he tried to bite me. He's hungry. Click. So it has to be a live rat so they can wrestle with it. I don't understand that. I'm so glad Brenda's at a Girl Scout meeting right now. Anyway, let's go. Where? We're walking up the stairs. Back to the pet store. I really don't want a snake that eats live mice. He's angry. She's angry. They're looking at the cage. Of course we don't have a way to carry the snake. What's that? Then carries back. So they're, they're hurrying up. They're, they're driving.
drive fast. Peek. Why would you even bother opening the bag? Ah, he's crawling out. He's, he's. So he just crawled out of his bag. He's climbing up into the car seat. Grab him. So look, you can see the little snake going under his, her car seat. No way, he'll bite me. We have to do something. Look, his little tail's poking out. that car speeding. Get out of the car. Do you see it? No. So they're looking for that snake. Get the flashlight from the safety kit. It's out of batteries. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna tell your sister? told her and she's crazy but aren't you gone you told her after picking you up from girl scouts look at the mom she's like upset and she's like happy and then like, she's running away can't run back home and then that's the end so it looks like colorado springs and then california Well, I hope you enjoyed this read aloud. That was a very long read aloud. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found any more personalities that I forgot, you put them in the comments below. If comments are turned off, that's okay. So. So, they bought her a snake and it's inside of the car. That's not good. And so, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't seen Day 7, what are you doing? Go watch it. Bye.